All the grafted durian trees are coming from our nursery. The available varieties are Musankin, Blackthorn, Ariwai, Jenny, Golden Phoenix, Deca, Rainbow, and Orange Graveolens. Our goal is to create a self-sustaining system that produces its own fertilizer. This results in faster turnaround and lowers the maintenance cost. We have limited space and we would like to produce as much fruit as possible. Early yield is important for food security and early profit. And also it gives more motivation to continue every day. We clean the area and cut the old avocado trees. We raise our durian trees for better drainage by building mounds with the organic material from the cleaning, along with compost, cocoa husks and good quality soil. All these amendments will quickly build up soil biology by providing food and habitat for soil microorganisms that will support our newly planted trees. We planted Mexican sunflower around the mounds. They will provide sun protection and wind protection in the dry season and also feed the microorganisms in the soil and provide organic matter for mulching the durian tree. In row A, we planted grafted durian trees at 6 meters distance in triangles. These are the target trees of our system. This is intentionally a very high density planting method that we use for the following reasons. To test which varieties do well in this area in a limited space and to maximize early yield. Later, if we decide, we can thin the less successful varieties and weak trees to achieve a 12 meters distance. In row B, we planted secondary trees, mainly bushes and small trees that fruit quickly. This maximizes early production and will be shaded out by durian in about five years. These are Suriname cherry, sweet carambola and noni. We planted bananas in both rows. Banana is a fast producing fruit in the system. It grows quickly, provides shade and high water content organic matter in the dry season. Banana plants are very good for improving soil conditions. We filled the rows with pineapple for early production. Pineapple is very tasty and it produces high water content fruit in the dry season, which is an off season for other tropical fruits. These pineapple starters are the secondary growth of mature pineapple plants that grow after harvesting. They give fruit in one year. We also plant from pineapple tops, those produced in two years. The pineapples are planted close together with thick mulch to fertilize and prevent other plants coming up.
We planted Mexican sunflower. We planted Mexican sunflower around the mound. It will provide. What will it provide? Because the plant. Ooh, da -da -da -da.